You have found Denim Creations. It's a channel about reusing, recycling, and upcycling denim. Welcome! If you're the kind of person that likes unique designs, sewing, crafting, and using denim in interesting ways, then this is the channel for you. I'm Martha, lead designer for this channel. Welcome! Keep watching! Gotta try. Today's episode is episode number eight. It's about designing pillows using mostly denim. I'm going to show you some various patterns you could choose to use. A two patch is a simple pattern. Nine patch is very standard. There's five of one color and four of another. Here's some examples of other nine patch patterns. More nine patch, and that's also an applique. You could make that from denim. Then there's maker's designs, random things that a maker chooses. And of course, you can always make checkered squares. That's popular. This happens to be a set of pillow sh shams. Another popular pattern is a windmill. It's a little more uh, advanced than the simple checkered squares, but it's easy as well. Then there comes the crazy designs. That just means the, the maker went crazy using no pattern. A simple way to make a pillow cover is by using the front of a dress or a shirt. Then you have a way to insert the um, pillow insert into the pillow cover. Here's more examples of crazy patterns. Generally quilts are made in a very certain way and to make random just using what you've got that gets the name of crazy meaning no pattern. The maker just went crazy and it makes for an attractive bed. How old are blue jeans? The invention of blue jeans happened how many years ago? Well, you might be surprised to find out. Blue jeans were invented by Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss in 1853 during the gold rush in California. That means people have been wearing blue jeans 170 years. I'd say it's a timeless fabric in a timeless fashion. The actual fabric for blue jeans was made originally in France, the fashion capital of the world. If you were to visit my home, you would find me in this place I'm going to call my little piece of heaven. This is my kitchen. This is my table. I love my table. I love my rolling chairs. I love my plants. A wheel, an extra sewing machine in here. I have everything I could possibly want. And let's look at these beautiful flowers. Oh man, it's February in Tennessee and the flowers are blooming. So this is me and this is a hat that I recovered in denim, but I didn't do the uh, underlying brim, but I decided I'd go back and so I'm working on it. Homage to Mod Podge, my favorite supply. If you're not using Mod Podge, quick, go buy you some. It's a very thick glue. You need glue and a brush and you can just about make anything and that's what I'm using on this hat. And you can see that I liked one hat so much I decided to make the other hat. And of course, I had to sew a pen, pen, pen cushion. And this is my Husqvarna machine. I recommend Husqvarna 100%. And just some more views of the hat that I've been working on. And this is the one that I already made that I added some to the brim. And this is one that I'm working on now. The second little straw hat that, you, that I showed you there in the first picture. And I think it's very attractive, and I'll enjoy wearing that 
with other denim fashions. Denim is back in style this year. It's on all the runways. So yeah, time to pull out your denim and get going with it again. And I love to do designs. I love to do funky stuff. And I'm just showing you here that the brim is not finished yet, but I do plan on Mod Podge in the brim as well. But I had to let it dry on one side before I turned it up on the other. Isn't that attractive? Isn't that cute? I think it really shows fashion. Now, as I advertised in my uh, title, this video is about pillows. And I'm going to show you some pillows. This is one that I covered in denim. I think that denim came from a large dress that I found. Probably at a yard sale for a quarter, 50 cents. This came from a man's shirt. Isn't that attractive? This was a man's shirt and a lady's dress. I love making them with the buttons up the middle. Then you can put your pillow inserts in there. And it's easy to do. Oh, I keep coming back to these flowers. I love having these beautiful daffodils. They came from my yard. Oh, it's just amazing. They're just so fabulous. One of the goals I have with my channel is to give you tips on things that you can do. Uh, I suggest when you're buying pillows, if you're going to cover the pillows, buy ugly. Also, buy pillows that have a lot of stuffing. Why do you want ugly? You can get them cheaper and there's lots of them. Why do you want a lot of stuffing? Because pillows have a way of kind of wearing out and getting flat. And a standard size for a pillow is going to be about 15 to 16. But if you're going to have it real thick with lots of stuff and you're going to need it to be a little bit larger than that. This is actually a um, quilt block that I was given. It wasn't quite big enough for this pillow, so I wanted to add some denim to it. So I added a pocket and then I added some strips around the side. That's always a good idea to make things larger. Just add a strip. And then I was actually given some gray denim and I decided to make that the backing. And when you do the backing, you really want the backing to uh, fold over in a flap like a sham does. And I'm showing you this pillow cover that was actually given to me for free. And see how it folds over in the back. And I'm going to show you an example of how you pull that over the pillow. And then you put the other side in. And it's done. And this is my ugly pillow. I got for 99 cents, I got the cover for free. So I had a beautiful new item for my home and I was really thrilled about that. And then here's just an example of that uh, flap on there. And let's say thanks again for these beautiful flowers and what a happiness they brought to my life that day. And then here is the pillow all done up and all pretty and and it's another example of frugal living. That was one of the goals for my channel. You can use clippings from, from things that you have around the house that you've been sewing with. I'm given bags and bags and bags of clipping from friends of mine who sew. They never throw anything away. And we're able to use those generally to fill dog beds. But you can also use fiber fill scraps if you know anybody that makes quilts, ask them for the fiber feel. And by the way, I'm Martha. I'm the editor, the creator, and the designer for this channel. The music that you've heard today is Lessons Learned, written and sung by Josh. Lauren's doing the backup. Here's my happy place, my little piece of heaven. I'm Martha. I'm going to ask you to like. I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Most of all, I'm going to ask you to view, 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 and more view. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching.